What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focused. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a drill or a transition game that I call 2 verse 2 Sprint. This is an awesome game that you can use with your team because you'll get a lot of reps in a short amount of time. I love it on the offensive end of the floor because you're going to work on transition offense as you see the setup with the two offensive players here against these two defensive players. I'm going to jump into it in a minute. It's great for working on your two verse one. It's great for working on finishing at the other end and it is excellent for working on decision making in these situations. Defensively, you got to learn how to sprint in transition and this player is going to be both players are really going to have to work hard to sprint down and defend the basket. And also, it's great if you're a full-court pressure team because this defender can learn how to sprint and potentially back tap or at least sprint and get matched up on the other end of the floor because that is going to happen in full-court pressure. So those are the reasons I really love this drill. I'm going to jump into it now. And as I said, you're going to have O1 and O2 here. You're going to have D1 and D2 in these two positions here, these are your defensive players. And typically what you'll have is you'll have a second group of four players ready to go next and a third group of four players that will be ready to go after the, those groups go. That's about 12 players, which is typically what teams have. Um, you could adjust it based on the numbers of your team. If you have eight players, you go with two groups. So there's different ways to do it, but um, <clears throat> you'll have those other groups ready to go. So you'll get a rep in, a rep in, a rep, and then you go to the other side of the floor, and the offensive players become your defensive players and vice versa, and you run it back going this way. And that's one way that you can do this drill. I'm going to give you another example in a minute. But before I do, we're going to start here with the coach. O2 or O1 can get the basketball. We're just going to make it simple here. This coach is going to throw the ball to O2, who's going to immediately take off down the floor, and they're going to get off in there. What starts out essentially as a two verse one, almost a two on O if they get out there ahead, but hopefully this player is sprinting back. And then this defensive player has to sprint back as well. So these players are going to come down the floor. And what you're going to see typically is that defender is just getting back and they're going to get to the rim. And this player who has the basketball has to make a decision. Are they going to look to finish or are they going to lay it over and are they going to pass to this player? Now, remember, there's another defender who's going to be sprinting back. So as this defender gets here, if you make that pass across, it could get intercepted by the other defender. So, you know, you have to make the right decision at the rim, um, which is why I really, really like this drill. And you can see the sprinting aspect of it. Now, I'm going to bring it back down the other end because I do want to talk about um, the different ways that you can do this drill. As I mentioned, there's obviously um, an opportunity with your D1 here and D2 over here, uh, O1, O2, and here's your coach down here, um, to just run it down and you have a second group and a third group ready to go and you can do it that way. And obviously there's a lot of benefit to that. You get a lot of reps in a short amount of time, a la almost a small sided game style. Um, the other way that you can do this is, I'm gonna bring you back down the other end. I'm just gonna race this over here, is you, you could actually have, um, after the defense goes, you could potentially have a D3, a D4, and a D5 on this end of the floor. And if I bring it back down this end, you could have O3, O4, and then O5 off the floor. I know I kind of drew those players on the floor. We'll bring it back down to the defense down here. They're, these players are essentially off the court right now that you see on this end of the floor. So D4, D5, and D3 are not going to be involved. As you run it down this end and your offense, O1 and O2, try to score and you have your D1 and your D2 that try to get the rebound. Let's say they miss and D1 gets the rebound. All you do now is you have another player who was on defense jump in. Obviously, they're going to come to offense now. And you're going to run it back this way. And it's now going to become a 
3, verse 2. Bring it back down this end of the floor. And <clears throat> when this team gets the rebound, you have two players jump on, 05 and 03, and it becomes a 4, verse 3. And then you go 5, verse 4, all the way up to 5, verse 5. So you could actually run this as a, instead of just like um, one group, one group, one group, this could become a continuous drill, which is like uh, the Spartan drill, uh, which I've talked about in the past. It's a two verse one up to five verse five. So you could actually start it as a two verse two sprint and then go into the continuous drill. So I like this because you can get in the reps, which is the way I like to do it. You have a group of four, a group of four, a group of four, and then O and D switch and you come back the other way. Or you can make it continuous and get reps in that way and start out with the 2v2. I like doing it as I showed you with the D1, D2, O1, O2 with the coach passing and getting the drill going. And it's that two verse one because I think these are unique situations that occur if you do it as a build-up drill yep you're gonna have the four verse three the five verse four um there might be some days you want to do that but i think this is a unique situation where you have that two-on-one with that player who is trailing you get that and you run it with each group um it's very specific to this type of situation and you do get a lot of those in the game and as i said i like it for a lot of different reasons um you know on the offensive end your transition offense, your finishing, your decision making, and on defense, you're working on sprinting in transition, or maybe even sprinting back and trying to back tap or chase and uh, get matched up. So, um, really good drill. This is two verse two sprint. You can see where I got the name from because these defenders had better learn to sprint back and get in position, keep score. Um, you could make it turnovers or minus a point. Uh, every basket is worth a point or two points. You can highlight certain things that you want to do, um, you know, in this particular drill and, and earn points for those as well. So um, two versus two sprint, great transition game, a la almost an SSG that you can use with your team. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to get better basketball for more great video breakdowns each and every week. As always, get better every day. Okay.